Hi friends, in this video we are going to see electrical equivalent circuit of synchronous motor. Electrical equivalent circuit of synchronous motor. To understand clearly, first I would like to draw a simple schematic diagram of a synchronous motor. So here synchronous motor has mainly two parts, one is stator and uh, another one is rotor. Stator has three phase winding, so three phase winding is placed in stator in such a way that each phase has 120 degrees phase angle to each other. So this one is R, R dash and exactly after 120 degrees we have another uh, phase that is y y dash and after y y dash there is another winding placed here called as b b dash now this motor is a simply two pole machine it, we know that three phase induction motor is a machine that operates at synchronous speed and converts three phase electrical supply into mechanical energy so here there is a shaft okay this shaft is there there is mechanical energy in the form of torque and speed so this is simple schematic diagram of synchronous motor now in this diagram there are two electrical systems one is AC supply given to the stator winding and another is DC supply given to the field winding of the rotor poles. So here rotor pole has field winding it is excited by DC source. So there is current flowing through the rotor field winding called as field current it is DC source of course this DC supply is given to this rotor field winding through slip rings I did not show that slip rings here okay so here two systems are there one is AC system that is connected to the stator winding another is DC electrical system connected to the rotor field winding so with the help of these two electrical systems we can draw electrical equivalent circuit of the synchronous motor i would like to just explain the electrical equivalent circuit of the synchronous motor in three points here how many windings are there two windings are the basically first one is stator winding rotor winding is there so now whenever synchronous motor is operating under normal conditions the speed of the motor is ns is equal to 120 f by p called as synchronous speed so this is fixed so that is a synchronous motor can also be called as constant speed motor irrespective of the loads speed is constant so at ns is equal to 120 f by p motor is normally operating let us assume this motor is under normal operating conditions when motor is operating under normal operating conditions here rotor winding is there stator winding is. two windings are here and there is a two magnetic fields one magnetic field is due to stator winding which is called as rotating magnetic field only magnetic field is due to stator winding which is called as rotating magnetic field another magnetic field is due to the field current flowing through the field winding wound around field poles so two magnetic fields are there stator magnetic field which is also called as 
rotating magnetic field and rotor magnetic field two fields are there when the stator magnetic field is rotating with synchronous speed there is a possibility to induce an emf in rotor field winding but it is not possible to induce an emf in rotor field winding why under normal operating conditions rotor is also rotating with synchronous speed rotating magnetic field is rotating at synchronous speed and the rotor is also rotating at synchronous speed because of a magnetically interlock between stator pole and the rotor poles so the relative motion between this rotor winding or rotor field winding and rotating magnetic field is zero so that is why there is no an emf induced in rotor field winding because of the stator rotating magnetic field first point is no emf induced in rotor field winding due to stator field and second point so now this stator winding is affected by two factors or two parameters one is the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator winding itself and second one is the magnetic field which is produced from the field poles so rotor magnetic field affects the stator winding so now second point is stator winding is affected by number 1 stator field number 2 rotor field so two fields are affecting the stator winding so when rotating magnetic field is linking with this stator winding then there is effect on this stator winding so that effect can be simply represented by a parameter called as synchronous reactance this is a synchronous reactance this synchronous reactance and at the same time there is a armature resistance of the stator winding which is called as armature resistance ra armature resistance of the armature resistance next one is the effect of rotor field on stator winding is represented by called as back emf back emf see now here rotor field is rotating with synchronous speed because this rotor poles are rotating with synchronous speed so when this rotor field is cutting this stator conductors there is an emf induced in stator conductor according to faraday's first law whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic field an emf will be induced in it so here magnetic field and stator conductors magnetic field means rotor magnetic field and the stator conductors are linking each other so that is why there is an emf induced in stator winding which is called as back emf the back emf induced in stator winding due to rotor field opposes the input voltage v the input voltage v that is otherwise stator voltage we can call it as a stator voltage so v is the stator voltage so with the help of now these parameters we can draw electrical equivalent circuit as i've already told you that here there are two electrical systems in this synchronous motor connected one is ac system another is dc system 
so it is the the input voltage v okay the input voltage v when there is a voltage applied three phase three phase voltage applied across this three phase stator winding right there is current flowing through stator winding which is called as a armature current because stator winding is also called as armature winding and armature winding has its resistance internal resistance called as armature resistance and due to stator field there is a effect on stator conductors accounted for synchronous reactance here accounted to synchronous reactance that is represented by x this is an imaginary quantity and uh, there is uh, the back emf induced in stator winding due to rotor magnetic field so that back emf is also represented here okay so this is a simple electrical equivalent circuit here we can represent field winding also that means the dc excitation given to the field winding this is field current this is the field winding and this is the dc source there is field current so then there is magnetic flux produced that is called as rotor magnetic field this is rotor magnetic field you should remember one thing here this equivalent circuit is for only one phase it is not a turn for three phases only one phase ultimate equivalent circuit is this one only you are not required to draw this one so if i apply kvl for this electrical circuit then we have an equation that is v equal to the drop across this one ia ra plus kvl means the algebraic sum of the voltages in a closed loop equal to zero so then ira plus ia into j xs plus eb now i am rearranging this equation like this that is v minus eb equal to ia into ra plus j into xs right so v minus eb is the resultant voltage in this circuit so that is why let us take it as er resultant voltage er is equal to ia into we know that ra plus j axis is the impedance since here there is synchronous reactance we can call it as synchronous impedance so so from this we can take an equation for ia ia is equal to er by zs where er is equal to v minus eb okay so now here if we consider this er here er is equal to v minus eb this is eb here is equal to v minus eb now this er is depend depends er is depending upon back emf because input voltage is fixed when we vary this back emf then there is a change in operation or variation in operation of synchronous motor okay so now let us see how this back emf can be varied rotor magnetic field depends upon field current so let me write like this eb is depending upon basically here two factors okay first one is speed of the motor and second one is field flux per pole field flux per pole so speed of the motor is constant because synchronous motor always rotates with synchronous speed okay then only factor on which this eb is depending is rotor field per pole right eb is depending upon speed of the motor and second one is rotor field per pole this rotor field is 
directly proportional to the current flowing through the field winding of the rotor right so now directly we can say that eb is or eb depends on ef if the current flowing through the field winding suppose if i give excitation such that eb equal to v right if i give excitation such that eb equal to v then the synchronous motor is said to be normally excited normally excited if excitation if excitation given to this rotor field winding such that eb is less than v then the synchronous motor is said to be under excited under excited similarly if eb is greater than v then synchronous motor is said to be over excited over excited so that means you know the operation of the synchronous motor is in three ways normally excited under excited over excited this this is because of back emf induced in stator winding so that is why here when eb equal to v synchronous motor said to be normally excited when eb is less than v it is under excited eb is greater than v motor is under over excited right so when motor is operating with these three conditions then there is power factor of the motor right then there is power factor of the motor motor power factor is lagging power factor for this two conditions of operation that is when motor is normally excited and under excited power factor of the synchronous motor is lagging power factor this is lagging power factor and when motor is under over excited then there is leading power factor of synchronous motor right so here based upon the different excited operation the power factor of the synchronous motor is also varied that means you know final conclusion of this electrical equivalent circuit of synchronous motor is this electrical equivalent circuit explains the operation of synchronous motor explains the operation of synchronous motor right so this is what the simple understanding about the electrical equivalent circuit of the synchronous motor